Hey everyone, I'm Erin Bassett and I'm going to show you how you can use your Scan and Cut DX machine to cut out lettering for a sign. So I'm in Scan and Cut Canvas Workspace and I'm using the Mac version but there's also a PC version and an online version. And you can see it's super easy. I created this file so it's already in my computer and I'm going to use Canvas Workspace to be able to transfer that to my machine. So to do that I'm going up to File and then I could go down to import from my computer or I can go to this icon on the left hand side uh, that says SVG on it and then choose my file. Either way will work. So once it's in there go back on up to your file menu and then down to export your file and I of course am going to use my Wi-Fi to transfer that over electronically. Okay, so we sent our design over to our Scan and Cut DX, and now we are ready to cut it out. So I am using, obviously, a piece of vinyl that I've used before, um, but I, with this sign, I have plenty of space to still cut this out. So I'm going to use a standard mat and put it on here. So let's see, I'm going to put it this direction. Eh, maybe I should do it this direction. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to smooth it on there. Vinyl sticks usually really well um, with this backing, so. Okay, so now we're ready to load that into our machine. And so we'll just place it all the way in until you can't go any further. And, you know, it's between those little bumpers right there. And then you'll hit that mat button and it will feed it into the machine. Okay, so we sent that design over so we can now click retrieve data and I'm going to use my stylus. Now you may be um, using a different method of bringing it over to your machine. Uh, maybe USB, there's a USB um, plug in over there um, or directly from your computer or what. But I did it with Wi-Fi from my computer. So that's what I'm going to choose. And there is my design. Okay, so next we can click OK. And then where it says, please select, we want to cut. And we already have our auto blade in there. Um, and obviously we're cutting vinyl this time. So we need to make sure that half cut comes on because we want it to cut through that top layer of vinyl, but not through that backing. Okay, so that's why you do a half cut. It's just cutting through the top half of this sheet. Okay, so we are gonna click on that little wrench and now we can adjust our settings. So scroll down to where you see um, half cut and make sure you click it on and you can adjust anything else that you want to and then click OK. Double check all your settings are correct. So first it tells me it'll take about three minutes to cut this out and then the pressure is auto, the speed is five, you can bump that up or down and um, the half cut is on. Okay, And it's even highlighted so I can see that. So you can do a test cut um, if you have never used vinyl before. Um, but if you're using Brother Vinyl with a Brother machine, it's calibrated to be able to um, work together. So you should have a really successful time. So we're going to click on Start. Now you'll hear, listen. When it's doing that, that's when it is calculating the depth that it needs to cut. So you don't have to monkey around with any settings, um, whether you're cutting on vinyl or you're cutting on, you know, something thick like leather or, you know, chipboard or something like that. It will do the calculating for you. So you don't have to tell it what type of material you're using. So I'm just going to let that cut and then we'll come on back and take it off and go on to the next step. Okay, it's finished cutting, so I can go ahead and hit that mat button and unload it. I'll just move this out of the way. Now let me take this off of here. Okay. 
Okay, so we have our area right here. Okay, so you just want to pull off that um, piece of vinyl that you're not going to be using um, and just make sure you're doing it really gently. And if you have, and if you have a pick tool, that's really helpful too, um, to just be able to get underneath things, poke out anything um, that needs to be poked out. <laughs> Okay, so we have that, and now we need to take out the centers of those letters that have them. So this is when your pick tool really comes in handy. So sometimes you can bend your paper to be able to get it to pop off. Okay, so we have that. Now I'm just going to trim this off of here so that I can go ahead and start transferring it onto my board. Okay, so we have that cut out and now we can take our gridded transfer sheet. So I cut this piece off of the roll and I love it because it has that nice grid on it. And um, so you just wanna separate the sticky part from the backing. Hold on to that backing though, because you'll be able to reuse this sticky piece um, on other projects. So when I have my grid, I like to find something like this letter H, this long part right here, where I can line it up um, and it just gives me a really good reference spot. So just so I know everything is going on relatively straight. Now, I'm not really good at getting this perfect, but I know it's pretty close and then I can adjust it when I transfer it over. So you can see I lined it up with this and with the top of those letters. So it kind of got a little wonky here, but I can make that adjustment. Okay, so next I want to take my spatula from my machine and use that to be able to rub those letters and that will get them to adhere to this transfer sheet. Okay, so once that's all rubbed on, you'll just slowly again. So see if it didn't pick up, go ahead and rub it some more. Sometimes they need a little helping hand to be able to bend your sheet back a little bit more than you had. And I always find the letter I, anything lowercase like that to be a little tricky. So sometimes I have to go and manually put that little dot. <laughs> Okay, so now we're ready to put this on here. So I am kind of eyeballing it, but kind of keeping in mind, um, you know, how far things are from the edge. Now this is like a balsa wood backing, so it's not very attractive to um, your vinyl lettering. Now if this was a plastic or something smooth um, or glass, if you even touched it a little bit, it would be on there stuck. So you have a little bit um, more time and a little more forgiveness with this balsa wood um, type backing, okay? So that's helpful when you're trying to see, you know, how far over to move things. You want them to be balanced this direction and this direction. Um, which is kind of an inch. I think that's pretty good. I'm going to tap it on there and hold it up so I can an eye on it okay so I think that looks pretty good so again I'm gonna grab my uh, little spatula and rub it on there and this time the rubbing will help it to adhere to our um, wood sign okay <laughs> so we got it on there I'm going to again really carefully Start peeling this off. I'm 
Okie dokie. So again, I want to save this because I'll be able to use it. It's still quite sticky. Okay, so there's our sign. Just like that, we're done. You can add any embellishments to the sign that you want, um, but you're finished. For more ideas and inspiration, visit erinbassett.com. And for all things Scan and Cut, visit scanandcut.com.